Today, a dream will be realized. Although we are a long way from home, Santa Monica, Los Angeles, although we are Manuhiri in another land, Te Tiriti o Waitangi has brought many people together. And we send kia ora greetings to our Maori brothers and sisters in New Zealand on this very special day to celebrate the Treaty of Waitangi. We're going to offer our songs to you. Pretty good, pretty good. There's no wind, which makes our lives a lot easier. The first time we did this on Bethel's Beach was two o'clock in the morning. We were laying out, not this template, but something like it. And it was just flapping like a mad beast. And uh, so, this is easy peasy at the moment. We'll see what happens when we start to dig, but so far we're feeling pretty good. Tell me about the history of your people, the Tongva people. The Tongva people occupied and continue to occupy all of Los Angeles County, Orange County, and the four Southern Channel Islands. Um, if you ask how long we've been here, of course our response is we've been here forever. And each Native American tribe in the States has its own distinct character, unique characteristics. Tell me about the Tongva people. What sets you apart? What makes you special? Yeah, well. If you look at a lot of the tribes in the United States, I'd say that most people assume that everybody looks like the Hollywood Indian, the Plains tribes with the war bonnet and, and the teepees. And along the coast of the Pacific, we look more um, Pacific Island, Polynesian, perhaps even Maoris. Our, our culture is based on the ocean. So we have our canoe culture was very, very integral into our culture, continues to be. Everything about it is is very much connected to the waters. This morning what we did is we wanted to to welcome the Maori and, and also to join in the celebration of the Treaty of Waitangi with the, with the Maori Nation back in New Zealand. And our part is to welcome and to ask the people to come into the circle. So we started by blessing everybody with our medicine, uh, herb that we call white sage. And when the smoke goes up, it takes all the bad and it dissipates everywhere. It just saturates into the environment. Great idea was this? It's really special this morning getting that you know the welcome onto the beach and everything like that and that was uh, yeah that was amazing man. that was just that was great you go wow okay this is happening and then yeah then you see the diggers come in and you see these cranes and the huge film crew and you go wow yeah, mate, it's coming along uh, pretty good Mike's on um, he's on uh, he's on target so we might be finished a little bit earlier but we're, we're digging it a lot he's probably told you we're digging it a lot deeper this time yeah we're looks like we'll be well on schedule. And uh, plenty of volunteers, yeah, so I think we'll be in the pub by five. So what's a nice girl from Te Tukere doing on a beach dig in Santa Monica? We're supporting the Air New Zealand Mike Marazzi made from New Zealand um, venture, but we also come up here to do our Rumi Rumi Miri Miri. Yeah. We started off, I think, with uh, some uh, 
adrenaline-filled energy, and now we're sort of mellowing it out and sort of pacing ourselves. It's kind of fun just to be padding. <laughs> There's a nutty in the midst. Nuts <laughs> flow in the house. Here in Santa Monica, I understand you're living here. Yes, I'm living over in Los Angeles, actually, over in Hollywood at the moment. What's it like being like a Maori in Hollywood? He's not an actor. Um, well, I'm enjoying an it. I'm not an actor. Oh no, no, thank you. I'm not an actor. I'm enjoying it because I get to see all the falseness. I like living amongst the plastic fantastics. <laughs> Happy way, Tony. That you guys are home. Hope you're bloody enjoying it. Have a nice hungy and a beer while we do this. You relax. You just relax. We'll get it done. It's amazing that number of people have turned up. I mean, it's kind of one of those things we, we ask for perhaps more people than what we would need just in case, you know, people didn't show up. But uh, probably got about a 120% strike rate so far. Mike, 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 why do you do it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm exhausted actually right now. I sort of ask myself the same question. It's like, um, I don't know where it comes from, but there's this idea that big is better. And uh, it seems to be the inside out kind of mantra. Um, let's, why not? Let's do it. We can be big. We're a mad, tiny little plucky country in the middle of nowhere. But um, we come up with these huge, big ideas really. We're a passionate, strong, full blooded people. and. I like big. Big is good. Well, actually, this is the first time we've um, we've ever celebrated Waitangi Day on Santa Monica Beach, and I think it's pretty awesome. But this, this giant sculpture is actually to celebrate Waitangi Day, which is happening in daytime. Do you usually celebrate Waitangi Day? Yeah, just hang with the family, mainly. Yeah, family time. This is the very first time I've ever celebrated Waitangi Day in, the, in America. I've been living in the States for five years, up in Maryland, and they never celebrated up there, so it's my first time. Perfect. Now, just give me a bit of an explanation about what that is. Uh, just, uh, I was heading overseas and I wanted to take a bit of New Zealand with me. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, come with me. Just to remind me of New Zealand, so I tatted it on my back. A bit of a date of birth and, yeah. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know what else to say. That's nice. That's and I never went to the city till I was 18 years old. So I was really lucky to grow up in the Kawati Valley at the back of Moerewa, to grow up around my marae, to grow up around my extended whanau. That part of who you are never leaves you, no matter where you go. Then we're going to go like that first, and then we're going to stamp the foot, the right foot. The woman can just stamp either one like this. But the, the right foot. Just car order, car order. But you you put some strength in there from your guts. That's right. I'm always talking to you about the Nazi priority iwi, and I'm 20 years old. Kia ora. My name is David Wishart. I've lived here in the United States for the last 26 years. I'm Tsai Nui, and I'm 31. Kia ora, Tufano. We've been full of talk with you. We're not going to be here. We're talking to you. Kia ora, and I'm 22, 21. Well, it is a privilege, actually, that we're down in um, America, because uh, usually we're in Canada, and maybe because we probably wouldn't have done nothing like this. But it's a privilege to um, see the uh, Māori people, New Zealand people, coming to uh, do the fern and everything. So it is actually a privilege to be with, you know, sort of family kind of thing, whānau. So, yeah. Being here for the last 25 years, is, we haven't really celebrated. This is one of the first times we've really celebrated Waitangi. And like he said, it's just good to, to remember who you are, where you come from, and, and just be around each other. Feed off of each other's uh, strength and spirit. Remembering where we come from, although we are on this side of the world, we still know where we come from, who we are, and it's good to be with people who know where they come from and, um, what's it called? Like to get together. It's a time to get together and, yeah, celebrate who we are as Māori people. <laughs>